Hello IG Garage family, is your car showing a P0096 trouble code? If your engine is running rough, your fuel efficiency has dropped, or your check engine light is on, you might have a problem with the intake air temperature sensor too. A faulty intake air temperature sensor can cause incorrect air fuel mixture, poor performance, and even damage to the engine over time. In this video, we'll cover what P0096 means, the exact sensor location, this one's super important, and how to diagnose and fix it properly. Alright, let's get started. What does P0096 mean? Well, the P0096 code stands for Intake Air Temperature Sensor 2 Circuit Range or Performance. Your car's engine control module relies on the IAT Sensor 2 to measure the temperature of the incoming air. If the sensor gives a reading that's out of the expected range, this code will trigger. Alright, so let's talk about the symptoms of P0096. You might notice the check engine light turning on, which is often the first clue. Poor fuel economy could also be a sign and, well, the engine might start running rough or even misfire. Hard starting especially in cold weather is another common symptom. And oh, don't forget, you might experience a noticeable loss of power. Now moving on to the common causes of P0096. First up, a faulty intake air temperature sensor 2. If the sensor is damaged or giving incorrect readings, that could definitely trigger this code. Then there are wiring issues. Things like loose, corroded, or damaged wiring can lead to erratic temperature readings. A dirty or clogged air filter might also be the culprit, as it restricts air intake and messes with the readings. Another possibility is a faulty mass airflow sensor. Since the IAT sensor 2 often works alongside the MAF sensor, a failing MAF can cause problems. And lastly, though it's rare, the ECM itself could be at fault, misinterpreting the sensor data. So, where exactly is the IAT sensor 2 located? Well, it's usually found inside the intake manifold or near the throttle body. In some vehicles though, it may actually be built into the mass airflow sensor. Speaking of the MAF sensor, if the IAT sensor 2 is integrated with it, you'll typically find it mounted on the air intake tube, close to the air filter box. Now the wiring harness that connects the IAT sensor to the ECM is another thing to check. It runs from the sensor to the ECM, so be sure to look for any loose connectors, corrosion, or damaged wires. And hey, here's a little tip. If you're having trouble locating it, your car's service manual or an OBD2 scanner can be super helpful. All right, let's dive into diagnosing and fixing the P0096 code. First, you'll want to check the intake air temperature sensor 2 or IAT sensor 2. Use an OBD2 scanner to read the IAT2 temperature data. If the readings fluctuate abnormally or are out of range, well, it's time to replace the sensor. Next, inspect the wiring and connectors. Look closely for any corrosion, broken wires, or loose connectors. If you spot any damaged wiring, repair or replace it as needed. Now, if your car has a combined IAT2 and MAF sensor, you'll want to test the MAF sensor. Sometimes cleaning or replacing the MAF sensor can resolve the issue. Also, don't forget to check the air filter. A clogged or dirty air filter can mess with the sensor readings. If it's dirty, go ahead and replace it. Finally, reset the code and take your car for a test drive. Use the OBD2 scanner to clear the P0096 code, then hit the road and monitor the engine's performance. And that's how you fix the P0096 intake air temperature sensor 2 circuit range or performance issue. If your car is running rough showing poor fuel economy or struggling with performance, make sure to check the IAT sensor, the wiring, and the air intake system. For more car repair guides, check out these videos next, P0497, EVAP system low purge flow, and P0320 ignition or distributor engine speed input circuit malfunction. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more expert fixes from IG Garage. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next